okay on killing a tree just a reading first it takes much time to kill a tree not a simple jab of the knife not a simple jab of the knife will do it it has grown slowly consuming the earth rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water and out of the leprous hide sprouting leaves so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to former size no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth then the matter of scorching and choking in the sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it's done so what's done huh ah. okay so have you gone through the poem once or twice right now go through its questions thinking about the poem can a simple jab of knife kill a tree don't answer me yet we are just reading the questions can a simple jab of knife kill a tree why not so why not is giving us the answer that the answer is to be no of the first part i am giving you the tricks how to decode the answers sometimes when you don't know abc so how uh, can a simple jab of knife kill a tree so even if you don't know the answer yes or no the next question why not will tell you like it is no but the examiners are not that fool they always say why why or why not you know they can try to confuse what is the meaning of bleeding bark what makes it bleed don't tell me the meaning we are just reading it sorry a second question we have left how has the tree grown to its full size list the words suggestive of its life and activity third is what's the meaning of bleeding bark what makes it bleed the poet says no in the beginning of the third stanza what does he mean by this let's see where the boss is saying no so so third stanza was no the root is to be pulled out so in what context did he say no let's read the last lines of second stanza also so uh, the full second stanza so hack and chop but this alone won't do it wait not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to former size no the root is to be pulled out so is no related to second stanza in what sense who says yes one gurpal okay later on i ask you because right now we are not uh, my focus is not to ask you the answers you can think so keep on thinking wait what's the meaning of thinking thinking means think right okay now next question is the poet says no in the beginning of the third stanza what does he mean by this okay fifth what's the meaning of anchoring earth and earth cave what's the meaning of anchoring earth and earth cave <clears throat> what does he mean by the strength of the tree exposed when i re i read the question you can also look at the questions what does he mean by the strength of the tree exposed what finally kills the tree okay so now there are uh, there is a vocabulary also you can read that jab is a sudden rough blow what is jabbing hitting somebody tightly okay jab so sudden rough blow leprous hide hide is discolored bark discolored bark 
Baki you know. Okay, hack is cutting roughly or hack is somewhat related to jab only. Cut roughly by striking heavy blows. Jab and hack are synonyms. Okay, and even there was one more word. Chop. Chop is cutting actually. Okay, jabbing is striking something roughly. Okay, anchoring earth. What is an anchor? What is an anchor? Something with which you tie something. Okay, anchor happens to be a rope. Okay, so what is uh, anchoring earth over here? Trees are held securely with the help of the roots in the earth. What makes a tree get secured with earth? Roots. So roots are like the ropes. Okay, they are like the anchors. Anchoring the earth. So earth, earth, uh, you know, makes a trees tied to itself with the roots of the tree. Snapped out. What does it mean? Chopped out. So scorching and choking. Scorching is drying. Okay, extreme heat. That is scorching. And what is choking? Suffocation. When something gets blocked. So here the drying up of the tree after being uprooted. Otherwise also you should know the meanings. What is scorching? You say sometimes it's a scorching heat. You know, very hot. And what is choking? When something gets chalk blocked. When you say like the smoke is choking me. I can't breathe. Okay. Smoke chalks us. Okay. So scorching and choking. The drying up of the tree after being uprooted. Or scorching and choking over here means killing the tree. When the tree gets killed. Okay, what does the, what's the effect of choking on human being? Death. Okay, so the meanings you've all understood. Questions we have gone through. Now, if there is something which we don't know, that also we'll be able to understand through the poem. So on killing a tree, you must have observed people cutting down trees. Look at the text. You must have observed people cutting down trees. But can they kill a tree? So did you ever realize that has a tree been killed? Is it easy to do so? Let's read the poem and find out what the poet says on killing a tree. So it takes much time to kill a tree. So killing a tree requires extreme efforts. Not a simple jab of knife will do it. Simply chop, chopping it down, hacking it down will not do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth. The whole, the whole lot of earth has gone into the making of a tree. The whole, the whole lot of the environment has gone into the making of the tree. The sunlight, the air, the water. What else? Hmm? The sunlight, air, water, what else they need to grow? Hmm? Soil. Okay, one more thing. So if you want to make a plant grow into a tree, it would need a lot of sunlight, water, air, soil. Yes, look at the text. It has grown slowly consuming the earth. So the earth has sacrificed itself to make a tree grow into its fullest self. So what does the earth over here mean? Whatever is inside the earth, maybe the soil itself, maybe, wa maybe water, maybe, maybe air or sunlight, whatever. Rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing ears of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. So the sun, uh, the tree has uh, been feeding upon its crust, that is the soil. The tree has, the tree has consumed all nutrients, whatever it requires to grow up from the soil, from the very crust of the earth. 
absorbing years of sunlight, air, water. So it had been consuming all these things from the environment. And finally, it has come out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. So finally, it has been able to grow. It has been able to give seeds so that it may give one more tree like this. So the point over here is like the tree, if you want to kill a tree, it would be a very difficult task because uh, a lot of things have gone into its making. Okay. A lot of time and other values have gone into its making. And those values are here. They are materialistic things. Okay. Those, a lot of matter has, uh, immense matter has gone into its making. So if you would like to kill it, it would not be a, it would not be an easy task. So hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. Not, mo not so much pain will do it. Pain over here will only mean struggle, efforts. So if you would just try to hack or chop or uh, strike it hardly, then you won't be able to do it. And even your immense efforts will not result in success. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs. The bleeding bark, once you'll cut the branches, they will almost, they will be, they will be immensely hurt. So they might even start bleeding. But eventually, even those injured or broken branches will heal and, and again will start growing up. So even the ble bleeding bark will heal. Bleeding bark here, what's the poetic device here? Bleeding bark, birth sound is repeated. Alliteration, A-L-L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. So even the injured, even the hurt branches of the tree, which you have, you know, chopped with your own X or whatever, it will heal up. And from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs. Miniature bows. What are miniature? Small in size. So bows are branches. And, but if in which if unchecked will expand again to former size. So once when you cut down the branches or branches and all, they will come back to their original size and shine. So once if you try to kill the tree, if you try to chop the tree down, later on it will come to its original or previous shine or size. The deeper meaning we'll talk, talk about later on. No, the root is to be pulled out. No, the root is to be pulled out. So no, you cannot kill the tree like that only. If you will try to hit the tree from outwardly angle, if you will hit it from the outside only, then you won't be able to kill the tree. The root is to be pulled out. So killing a tree would require you to hit it inside. Its root is to be uprooted. Out of the anchoring earth, it is to be roped. Out of the anchoring earth. So it, you have to take it out from its inside. You'll have to make the, you'll have to loosen the hold which is holding it tight. What is holding it tight? Roots, roots. The roots are making the tree get tied to the earth very securely. So if you want to uproot the tree, then you'll have to attack at its roots or you'll have to attack at its root uh, anchor or rope. And rope is roots over here. What is anchoring earth? What kind of poetic device anchoring earth? Transferred epithet. Very good. Why is it transferred epithet? It is not describing the earth. Transferred means, sorry, epithet means adjective. And when the adjective refers to something else other than being, other than the word which is mentioned over here, we call it transferred epithet. Here anchor is actually the rope. And the rope is actually tying up the tree with the, with the earth. So here transferred epithet for anchoring earth. Anchor over here is actually the rope, meaning wise. The root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out. 
So this is the process if you want to take out the tree from its roots, snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave. So in order to take the tree out from inside the earth, you'll have to tie it with a rope and take it out from the, from the underneath. And the strength of the tree exposed. So when you'll do this, then you'll see that the strength or the power of the tree will be exposed. Then only you'll come to know like what the strength of the tree is. When will you come to know about the strength of the tree? When you will tie it with a rope and will try to take it out of it. The source, what's the source of the strength of the earth? From where does the earth get out all the strength? White and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years under the earth. So the roots had been the source of its strength. How come? Because they had been getting all the all its power from underneath. So in the similar way, the way the tree, the real strength of a tree lies in its roots in the similar way, the real strength of a man lies in his values. Okay. Howsoever weak and frail and short a person may be, but if he will have a strong values inside him, he will not be broken. He will never be broken or distracted. Got it? So whatever the values which have gone inside you throughout your childhood, those values help you sustain yourself throughout your life. Okay, first 18 years children are in the guidance or under the guidance of parents. And these 18 years of guidance help them. This 18 year of teaching values help them live a beautiful life throughout. Okay, children always ask, go, want liberty, freedom. You know, they always say like our grown-ups are all, uh, you know, independent. Then why are we not given independence? Because for the 18 years, they are given those values which the parents have with them. And on the basis of those values, the children are able to have a life which is expected of them. But yes, if the children have those values inside them, they will never be easily broken or distracted. What is distraction? When you get tempted by something wrong. When somebody is doing wrong and you also start doing the wrong, it means that you have not got the inner strength. What is breaking? When there, when there is some little failure and you break, you say like, I can't manage now. You give up. Okay, it means that you are broken then. So it is your inner strength which saves you from disaster. <clears throat> then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening. So then the matter of scorching and choking in the air. So then, uh, so we were talking about the inner strength of the tree. Inner strength of the tree was something which was hidden inside the earth. Okay, what was hidden inside the earth? Its roots. Then the matter of scorching and choking in the sun and air. Then the other things which go into the making of a tree are the sunlight and air. And that is something which you can find in the environment. So not only the values which you have learned from the family, but also the things which you learned from the society. They also go into the making of a human being. Okay, the kind of schooling you are getting, the kind of uh, friends you've got, those all things matter a lot for a human being. In the similar, the way the roots and surroundings matter for a tree in the similar way, a human being is also affected by what is inside him or what is outside him. Wait a minute. Okay, we can uh, finish off the poem tomorrow. And meanwhile, you go through these questions and tomorrow there will be discussion next week, I mean. So happy Diwali to all of you.